Hello guys. Frames, virtual work, displacement, that's what we are doing here. So let's try this problem and the problem is asking us to calculate the displacement of the point B. Of course it has to be horizontal displacement on, unless you have a settlement at the support. So the first thing that we have to do here is determine the reactions. Determining the reactions of these, uh, you can do summation of moments at A for example and calculate the reaction at B. Uh, um, I'm just going to do it. I shouldn't be doing this at this level, but I'm going to do it. So summation of moments at A equals 0. And if you do that, then you have this 40 times 15, negative 40 times 15. And then you have this force here produced by this tricky blow. This is going to be a, an equivalent force of 90 kip over there produced by the distributed load negative also acting at the center of course so it's going to be negative 90 times the distance from here to here is 15 and then you don't have anything else but you have just this by that I'm assuming that goes in this direction plus 30 by equals 0 and then you can calculate by as a 65 kip Then you can do summation of forces in y equals 0. And if we do that, we have 90 in this direction. We have 65 in this direction. That means that Ay is going to be equal to 25 kip. And if you do summation of forces in x equals 0, so this is going to be 25. This is going to be 65, as we calculated. And then you are going to have also a force here of 40 acting in that direction because this is the only force acting in that way. So that will be the real structure. Now remember, once again, uh, this is the real structure. So the first step is doing statics in the real structure and calculating the internal forces. But before that, what we are interested in is the displacement. So we're going to have that 1 times delta. And in this, ta in this particular problem, as I, I showed that, I proved that to you in the previous video uh, regarding frames, the main effect, the important, the big effect is the one produced by moment. So it's going to be, we're just going to take into account the internal moment. And it's going to be m times m times dx or times l divided by ei, which is constant. And we're going to be using integrals. So that integral is going to be the summation of the integrals of m, m, dx divided by ei. And ei is going to be constant. What do we have to do? We have to study the effect here, here, and here. And by that, I mean 1, 1, I mean 2, 2, section 2, 2, and section 3, 3. Those are the sections that we need in order to uh, finish this problem. This is going to be the real structure. Now I'm going to put here, I'm going to try to save some trees and put here the virtual structure right there uh, with the same conditions A, B, C, D. But then I'm going to put a displacement of this joint I'm going to put it here because it's more elegant. I'm going to put it there. The displacement of the joint B, the virtual load here. And of course, if you did these cuts, we're going to have to do the same to define completely the behavior of our structure. I don't let my students use those fancy multiplication charts because when they take the FE, the FE doesn't allow them to use that. So get used to do this by using equations, not those multiplications over there. So what are we going to do? Calculate the reactions. This reaction is going to be 1 in that way. So if I do here vertical reaction, summation of moments here, there's nothing else. So this is going to be 0 in that case. So let's keep going. I'm going to try to keep this in this way. For section 1, 1, and I like to put 
one of the things that I, I, I always recommend is you have a global system of equations, which is the one that we use here for doing summation of forces and moments, etc. But now, every one of the members, I, I like to start from the beginning and use the local coordinate system, the local reference system, like that. So if I'm moving, I'm moving in this direction. This is going to be x, y. And this is what I'm going to use for this member. So if we do that, then you have this. I have the section there, which you don't have to do it. You can do it here if you are, you have sufficient practice. And you have this force of 25. And you have this force here of 40. And then the only effect, as I say, this is the distance x. And the only effect that I say that I'm considering is this m. And I'm going to call that point, I don't know, a prime, m, m, a prime over there. And this goes from 0 to 15. I like to put that also here. So I don't have to think too much when I, when I prepare my integrals at the end. So this is going to be from 0 to 15. I do summation of moments at a prime right there and if I do that then what you have is that m a prime is going to be equal to 40x and this is going to be my first equation for the real structure now let's go with the virtual structure I do the same thing I put the member here I put my force 1 this part I make the cut there and then I call this a small m a prime and this distance is also x um, if I do summation of moments at m prime equals 0, then m a prime is going to be m a prime plus plus 1x. So if you do that, you have m a prime plus 1x equals 0. So m a prime is negative x. And I have that equation for that leg. Now, let's go to the second cut. Second cut. I could do this cut only by studying the, that member, but I find easier to do this. I'm going to copy the whole member, and I'm going to put my force here of 25 and 40, and I'm going to keep this 15, my force of 40 acting there, and my section 2, 2 is going to be here, right there. So on top of that, I have to put that load which I will put here. Remember that load is 3 kip per foot. And then I'm going to have this m c prime for calling it somehow. And then I can do summation of moments at that point. Summation of moments at c prime equals 0. So assuming this is positive. For this member, for this god, my reference that I'm using is this in the direction of the member all the time my local coordinate system so when I come here and I do summation of moments at that point what you have is 25 times this distance that remember this distance is x so 25 x negative 40 times 15 negative this 40 times this 15 negative and then you have this force produced here that force is going to be equal to 3 times x it's going to be plus plus 3 times x and the distance is going to be x divided by 2 plus mc prime equals 0. And then you can say that mc prime is going to be equal to negative 1.5 because this divided by this is that and pass it to the other side. x squared plus 25x pass it to the other side of course and this is 600 pass it to the other side. So this is my equation for this span which is section you see I forgot to put that and I like to put that all the time. Section 2.2 two, and that goes from 0 here to 30, from 0 to 30. 
and that's true for both of them. So I can just keep this here for both and keep this here for both sides. Now for this virtual, for the virtual, I have this and I have that. I have a force of one, which is this force, I'm sorry, in the other direction. Like that, this is the force of one that I have there. This distance is x, and I'm going to have this moment small nc prime right there. So I do moment at nc prime, and if I do moment at nc prime, I'm going to have nc prime minus, remember this distance is 15, nc prime minus or plus, this is nc prime plus 1 times 15 equals 0. So nc prime equals negative 15. And I have my 2-2 two, two section here. Now we move to the to the last part, which is this section, 3-3. Three, three. So if I move to the 3-3, three, three, I'm going to just use oh, nasty here, 3-3. Three, three. And I'm going to do the 3-3. Three, three in the real one, and here you have to be careful because either you decide to come from this point down or you decide to go from this point up. But if you do that from this point up, you have to do the same thing here and here. So it's up to you. When I do shear moment diagram, I keep going in this way to plot in that way. However, for doing virtual work, and calculating, because I don't have to do the, the, the chart and I don't get confused later on. So I can just use this side of the structure, which is easier for me to, to study there. Just keep in mind the direction of the moment changes if you use this side. So whenever you're going to do the, the section 3-3, three, three, which goes from 0 to 15, if I'm going to the real one, which is this one, I just have this leg, I have this force here, which is 65, I have this distance here, which is x, and the moment is not going to go in this way, it's going to go in this way, the positive direction of the moment, I should assume that is there, and this is going to be called, I don't know, mb prime. So mb prime is going to be zero for this leg. And this, I don't even have to do it because when I multiply 0 times this, it's going to be 0. But however, just for completing the problem, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to put this 1. And remember, because I'm using this end of the cut, now the moment, the positive moment, is going to go in the other direction like that. So it's going to be mb prime, small m, and this distance is x, so small mb prime is going to be equal to negative x because both of them go in the same direction. Now, once you have that, remember this was just for explaining it. You don't have to do it because when you multiply 0 times this anyway, it's going to be 0. We just apply our general equation, which is this one here, and we keep EI outside. I don't know the values for EI. I just know that they are constant, and that's why we are keeping it in terms of EI. So basically the displacement at B is going to be equal to 1 over EI, taking it common factor, and then I'm going to go section 1, 1, 0 to 15, okay, 0 to 15, I don't think 0 to 15 is there. Multiply this times that, then multiply this times that, so 40x times negative x times dx, plus section 2, 2. Section 2, 2, here, 0 to 30, 0 to 30, I don't think, because I already thought before, 0 to 30, and this is going to be equal to this long equation here, negative 1.5 x squared plus 25 plus 600 multiplied by that, so I put that over there, negative 1.5 x squared plus 25 x plus 600 multiplied by negative 15 times dx. You solve this, you can solve it if you want to, 1 over EI, and then this is going to be 40x squared. When you do it, you divide by 3, 
So it's going to be negative 40x to the third divided by 3 from, let me put a key here, let me put this bracket, 0 to 15, plus, then you do the multiplication of these two. This is going to be negative 1.5. Negative 1.5 x to the third divided by 3 plus 25 x squared divided by 2 plus 600 x. Everything multiplied by negative 15, and this is going to be evaluated between 0 and 30. You can put this in the calculator and solve it, and then delta b is going to be 1 divided by ei that multiplies negative 45,000 minus now because this is going to be negative plus minus is minus 236 to 50 which means that delta B is going to be equal to negative 281 to 50 divided by EI if we knew the value of E and the I and remember I was constant because if I had different i's, then I have to include in every single one of the equations the corresponding i. But in this case, it was constant, so I take it outside. If we have the the unit the units for ei here, then I have to incorporate that. I know the way I handle this. The top is going to be keep per cubic feet. So whenever I multiply this one here. I just have to be sure that I enter it in the correct units. This negative sign, what does that mean? I put my load, assuming in the my virtual load in the left direction, because I go a negative sign here, that means that goes moves to the right, which I knew, and you knew also. I just wanna I just wanna put it like that initially to show that negative doesn't mean to the left that negative means opposite to whatever we assume so this one will move to the right and there you go you have another example now in frames see you next video guys keep learning